What's up guys, Retro Gamer Steve back with another video and tonight's video is a pickups video. So these are the items that I have accumulated over the last two weeks. Um, no serious heavy hitters or anything but some really cool games uh, and a couple cool items that I picked up on the cheap. So without any further ado guys, let's check out what I got. Alright guys, so to start off, I'm going to show you a few things I picked up at some uh, thrift stores. Um, the first one is this Xbox 360 um, microphone. Uh, this is in really nice shape, almost looks like it was unused, and they have this for $3.00. Um, and I didn't really need one, but I figured for three bucks and the condition it's in, uh, I would pick it up. So really cool to be able to add a 360 headset in really nice shape. And then also picked up an Xbox One headset that also looked unused and in really nice shape as well and this one was also uh three dollars so even though i already have one of these again for three bucks and it looked brand new i figured why not so i picked up those two headsets and then i picked this up at the goodwill which i haven't even cleaned the sticker off yet but you can see i got this for 99 cents and this is a Joy-Con controller grip for a Nintendo Switch. So I still need to clean it, but this thing is um, in really nice shape other than just the grime I need to get off of it. But for 99 cents, I figured uh, why not? I've never seen a Switch item in a Goodwill before, and I uh, thought it would be cool to have an extra one of these since I still don't have a Pro controller. I can at, use, at least use this one and the other one that I have to uh, play with the Switch Joy-Cons. So I thought that was a pretty nice find for a dollar. Then at a local game store that I go to uh, somewhat regularly, I found an Amiibo that I did not yet have. And I've been looking for this for quite a while, and that is the... Detective Pikachu Amiibo. So this thing is really cool. I remember seeing him when they first came out. Um, but that was before I even purchased my first Amiibo. And uh, haven't seen one since then. And when I saw him at the uh, game store the other day, I just had to bring him home. Uh, he is... One of the um, more uncommon Amiibos I am trying to add to my collection. Uh, plus, he's just so damn cute. I love the hat. And um, had to add that to my growing Amiibo collection there. So at the same thrift store that I bought the headsets for 3 bucks, I picked up all of these for $3. And these are all complete. And the first one is Battlefield 3 for the PS3. Nice clean copy for $3. Madden 09. Homefront. NCAA Football 12. Roll Tide. Kingdoms of uh, Amalur Reckoning. I have never played this game before, but it looked really cool. And for three bucks, I figured I would give it a go. Looks pretty neat. If you guys have ever played this before, let me know in the comments if it's uh, if it's a good game. NHL 2K10. I do enjoy a good hockey game, and this one looks like it's pretty good. 
again complete. Then the last one, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Again, complete. So I was really glad to pick up uh, all of these games for three bucks a piece complete. They're all in really nice shape and really clean cases. Uh, no cracks, no dirty discs, anything like that. So, um, And that was a thrift store that I have not found anything in yet. And I've stopped in many a times and I've always struck out. But that time, no gold, but some definitely uh, good games uh, for three bucks a piece. Then I picked up some GameCube games because I am actively adding to my GameCube collection. And the first one is Bomberman Jetters. Uh, I'm a big Bomberman fan and um, I saw this complete and had to add this one to the GameCube collection. Only problem is the bottom of the case is a little bit mangled there. Um, I might just get a replacement case for it some at some point down the road. But uh, I love the Bomberman games, so I had to uh, add that one to the collection there. And then I also picked up Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Uh, I've heard this is a fun game. Not a particularly great game, but a fun game nonetheless. And I got this for a good price, so I had to pick this up. I have not played this myself but I believe it is a platforming type game or 3D platforming type game where you play as, I'm guessing his name is Sphinx, and you can also control the Cursed Mummy as well. Um, but I got this complete copy, and it's in really nice shape, so happy to add that. And the last GameCube game I got was Spawn Armageddon. So I'm not a huge Spawn fan, but I came across this game and had to grab it. Um, really fun, actually. I've been playing this for a few hours and uh, really enjoying it. It's got music by Marilyn Manson. It is a complete copy. The disc is in my GameCube because I have been playing it. Um, but this is a, a really fun game. Again, not a particularly uh, particularly great game, but a lot of fun especially if you're a fan of Spawn, um, I think this is uh, worth a playthrough. Then I did pick up one Super Nintendo game, and that was Urban Strike, the sequel to Jungle Strike. Um, unfortunately, this one does not have the manual, but it does have the uh, the tray inside and the cartridge is in really nice condition um and it has the other uh paperwork but not the not the manual so not a complete copy however the box is in uh fairly good shape no major dings or dents or anything a little bit of shelf wear around the corners but not a big deal i got this for a really good price so always happy to add uh, a boxed game to any system. Then I picked up a few Switch titles. The first one is one of my favorite trilogies ever, and that is Bioshock the Collection. Um, I wasn't going to buy this game, but I came across a brand new copy for 20 bucks. I already own all three of these for the Xbox 360, but um, I wanted to buy this in case I ever want to play these on handheld mode. I absolutely loved Bioshock and Bioshock 2. I enjoyed Bioshock Infinite, but it did not compare to the original two. These games are fantastic, and for 20 bucks, I couldn't pass it up. Um, so for right now, it is sealed. I may never open it. I don't know. But absolutely love this trilogy and had to grab that. Then, like my buddy War Train Wins, I also found a sealed copy of The Mummy Demastered and had to add this to the collection as well. Um, didn't even know this game existed until I saw it at Best Buy. They only had one copy and I quickly snatched it up. So this is a limited run game, 2D platformer in the old 16-bit style, which I absolutely love games like this. 
Um, now, I probably will not open this game because I am a sealed game whore, but uh, really glad to own that one. And then of the Switch titles, the one I'm most happy to own is The Return of the Obra Dinn. Uh, so this is a game that I tried to find a second copy of, and they're sold out everywhere. A uh, single pixel style game where you are supposed to find out what happened to 60 passengers on the ship Obra Dinn, um, how they died, and by what means they died, all of that kind of stuff. So um, very, very cool game. If you guys have never heard of this, go check out some gameplay footage of this. Um, I guarantee you you'll probably start to hunt down a copy of this. I think this will be one that's um, sought after down the road. So really, really happy to own that copy. I did pick up one Wii game, and that is a sealed copy of Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles. Uh, so I came across this at a local game store, and they had a sealed brand new copy for... <laughs> A really good price. Um, I had to grab it because I am a Resident Evil fan. This is a game I did not own. Uh, I do enjoy my sealed games and I had to grab this. It, this was at a really, really good price. Basically a steal uh, for a brand new copy of this and had to bring that home. Then, as you guys know, I am trying to actively complete a North American Wii U set. Um, so the last five games I have to show you are all Wii U titles. So, the first one is Rabbids Land, the perfect party game. Um, believe it or not, this is one that I did not own. And I think I've only seen once or twice a while ago. Didn't pick it up at the time. Didn't think about picking it up. And then it just disappeared and I haven't seen it since. And that was over a year ago. So I was really glad to find a complete copy to add to my Wii U collection. So there's Rabbids. Also Call of Duty Black Ops 2 because I needed a Wii U copy. Also complete. So really glad to uh, have a Wii U copy of this game as well as the uh, PlayStation 3 copy, which actually I prefer this one because it's the Wii U game. Then I picked up a complete copy of How to Train Your Dragon 2. This is another game that I'd seen in the past. I uh, didn't think about picking it up at the time. And then just overnight, these games disappeared off the shelves and I never saw them again. And now I'm having to hunt some of these games down. But I was lucky enough to get, like I said, a complete copy of this one. Then... Uh, I was lucky enough to find Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. This is a lot like uh, Epic Yarn Yoshi, except you're using rainbow uh, bridges and stuff like that. But um, really glad to uh, be able to add this complete copy to my Wii U collection. I'm a, a big Kirby fan, and these games are always a lot of fun. And then the last game I picked up, guys, is a sealed copy of Planes Fire and Rescue. So I've had the other Planes game for quite a long time. I've never seen this game in person. Um, came across a sealed copy online and had to, uh, had to pick it up. So this one looks really fun, actually. You're flying planes or having to douse forest fires with your water tanks and stuff like that. Um, and this is, a. Uh, would say it's a game that's definitely getting harder to find because like I said, I've never seen this game in person and, uh, I've seen a lot of games in game stops and stuff, but never came across this. So to have a sealed copy, uh, for the Wii U is really cool and 
really glad to add five more Wii U titles to my collection. I think now I only need like 39 and I will have all of the North American released games. So those are my pickups for the week, guys. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's pickups video. If you did and you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, guys, think about hitting that subscribe button for me and give me a big thumbs up. That really helps small channels like mine grow and gain traction. And if you do enjoy content like this, make sure you come back next Monday for my handheld game of the week. And because I didn't put out uh, a home-held gaming video this, uh, this Wednesday, I will be putting one out next Wednesday. And then next Friday will either be another pickups video or um, a collection video maybe. I don't know. I might decide to do something else a little bit different. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought was the coolest item I picked up. And until next time, guys, take care, have a great weekend, and keep gaming.